Okay, we have types of staff. Meron tayong personal staff. Uh, this is the uh, personal staff is attached to individual line officers. Uh, personal. Yung pay, uh, uh, assistance, uh, assistant, halimbawa, secretary. Yan yung mga personal, yan yung mga halimbawa ng personal staff. Specialist staff, those are technically qualified person who provide service to the whole organization. Yan yung uh, doctors, halimbawa sa PNP, meron kaming doctors, nurses, o kaya meron kaming attorney, lawyer, lawyers, tapos general staff. Uh, ang halimbawa nito is yung executive, they have the same background as, the, as that of line officers. Halimbawa na lang ito is meron kaming... Uh, meron kaming tinatawag na uh, support support uh, support halimbawa ang Napolcom is uh, uh, lahat ng trabaho namin is uh, kailangan naka-angkop doon sa kanilang mandato uh, halimbawa halimbawa niyan ma uh, the ILG din kasali din yan sa general staff okay they may be appointed as deputy managers assistant managers special assistants yan yung mga halimbawa Meron tayong functions of staff authority. The staff authority is assigned the following function. Meron tayong agency of control. Yung agency of control, meron tayong... Uh, ang isang organization is dapat mayroon siyang control sa baba at saka sa, kanya, sa lahat ng kanyang kinasasaklawan. Organization. Uh, uh, control sa organization para lahat ng personnel, lahat ng tao na, na nagtatrabaho dun is alam mo at Uh, sinusunod ka. Cost. Kung ano yung uh, halimbawa, bibilhin. Uh, bibilhin na uh, firearms sa PNP. Halimbawa, uh, helicopters. Yun. Titingnan yung halaga. Audit. I-audit. Uh, meron kaming auditor. Yan. Yan yung mga trabaho, trabaho sa amin na meron kaming auditor din na civilian. Merong opisina yan sa PNP. Budget. Uh, sa budget. Meron din yan. Personnel, which is uh, more on sa human resource. Tapos, accounting. Sa accounting naman is, mayroon din yung, uh, mayroon din yung ano, uh, opisina. Which is, ang nagtatrabaho is uh, CPA. Uh, tapos, o kaya, law lawyer. Agency of coordination. Ang ibig sabihin ng coordination is, yung uh, uh, lahat ng, lahat ng, uh, lahat ng, uh, line at saka staff is nag-coordinate to uh, to make a certain uh, output for example para maganda yung output na gagawin kakalabasan ng kanilang trabaho is uh, mag-coordinate coordinate sila sa uh, sa kanilang mga halimbawa plano order and distribution production planning communication uh, ito yung uh, lalong lalo na kapag dito sa communication kailangan ng isang organization is mayroon siyang magandang flow ng commun uh, communication okay, meron tayong number 3 is agency of service, I'm sorry, ang bilis ko magsalita dahil uh, yung time is napaka napakahaba na it performs function like ito, agency of service, meron na research and development, uh, lahat ng agencies, kailangan mayroon nito even in the deep aid, meron din sila taxes, uh, of course uh, sa finance and sa finance namin, meron dunga magbabayad ng tax mo Statistical analysis uh, eh, Sorry Statistical analysis Nandito ito sa uh, uh, Tag dito Sa supply uh, Logistics Tapos personal development Personal development is Nandito uh, sa uh, Personal development is Ito yung R9 namin Agency of advice Meron kaming agency of advice It has to perform functions such as Legal advice or advisor Ayan, uh, attorneys, public relations, yan yung sa PIO namin, labor relations, uh, uh, sa ibang, sa business, meron nito, labor relations, tapos economic. Advantage of line staff organization. The organization has the following advantages. Meron tayong tinatawag dito na specialization. Line and staff organization introduce specialization in a systematic manner. Person with specialized knowledge are appointed to help Uh, line officers, of course uh, hindi ka basta-basta i-designate o uh, i-appoint sa isang work na hindi hindi naangkop halimbawa doon sa sa, sa iyong natapos o kaya doon sa trabaho na yung a-applyan 
The planning part is generally undertaken by staff personnel and line officers are able to devote much time for execution. Ito, napaka, yan yung, tapos meron tayong uh, better discipline. The unity of command is maintained in this type of organization. Yung unity of command, uh, isa lang yung, sa, uh, sa PNP, is, uh, yung disiplina namin is, isa lang yung susundin mo na utos, tapos uh, hindi mo napapakinggan kung anong sasabihin ng iba, as long as, Uh, mag-focus ka kung ano ang utos, kung ano ang memo na dumating sa iyo. Uh, uh, maganda ang kakalabasan. The staff personnel do not interfere with the executive work of line officers. Yan makikita mo diyan, ang uh, NUP, uh, non-uniform personnel namin is hindi niya po pwedeng panghimasukan yung trabaho namin. Halimbawa sa investigation. Okay, the workers get command from line personnel and are accountable directly to them for their performance. Yan. Uh, of course, uh, Uh, lahat ng uh, gagawin ng yung personnel is kung ano yung ipinagutos mo, siyempre, uh, babalik sa'yo kung ano man yung utos mo. Okay. This creates better understanding and discipline among employees. Ito yung pinakamaganda kasi kapag isa lang yung sinusunod, isa lang yung nagutos, napakaganda ng uh, mangyayari. Hindi yung marami nagutos tapos hindi, hindi makadeside yung worker kung sino ang susundin. Okay, meron tayong balance and, balance and prompt decision. Sa balance and prompt decision, we have the functional manager have the advantage of expert, expert, expert advice when taking important decisions. The staff can also be used to investigate and advise on interdepartmental relations. The line officers can take balance and quick decision. Ito yung balance and uh, prompt decision. Uh, pagkatapos yung... yung uh, yung functional managers, itong functional manager, ito yung nag nagtrabaho, tapos uh, magsisik siya ng expert expert advice uh, sa kanyang mga decision, tapos ang staff is uh, upon investigation, uh, in, uh, pagkatapos ng investigation at saka uh, advice is, uh, ang staff is, uh, i-consolidate for example yung uh, decision na ibibigay o kaya uh, uh, suggestion for example ng ng uh, halimbawa ng human resource development tapos uh, ng supply halimbawa paghahalo-haloin sila kung anong magandang uh, maganda ang suggestion yun yung susundin for example growth and expansion the line and staff organization is quite suitable for growth and expansion dito naman is ang gusto nito mangyari is uh, uh, ang 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 isang uh, personnel is uh, madidesignate siya halimbawa uh, halimbawa uh, ang isang personnel is madidesignate siya sa isang trabaho na naangkop sa kanyang trabaho basta uh, uh, basta uh, basta Uh, alam niya kung ano ang ginagawa niya. Yan yung gusto kong sabihin. Nagluluding na rin yung utak ko. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Development of employees. Yung development employees, uh, it's, uh, this is more on, uh, it, talks, it talks about the promotional system. Uh, dapat, uh, uh, ginapromote mo yung kung sino yung uh, 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 magandang performance, for example. Tapos, uh, sa career development naman, Uh, bigyan pag-aralin sila halimbawa may mga seminars okay ganyan lesser burden on line officers okay with the appointment of staff of, uh, officers the burden of the officer is greatly reduced syempre kapag halimbawa sa amin sa PNP hindi naman po pwede na lahat kami nasa traffic uh, lahat kami is nasa opisina so kailangan mayroon kaming kasangga kasangga mayroon kaming katulong halimbawa ang nine uniform personnel na tutu tumutulong sa amin sa paperwork Yan, yan ang ano namin. Quick actions. The line of officers will have sufficient time to take various decisions. Whenever there is a need for certain decision, they will be able to devote time and decide the things. Ito yung uh, ang ang nasa executive executive uh, position halimbawa uh, is mayroon silang sufficient time to take various decision kapag uh, kapag maayos yung sistema ng pamamalakad nila at saka sistema sa pam uh, pam pagtatrabaho ng kanilang personnel. Okay, disadvantages and line and staff organization. 
Okay. The line and staff organization suffers from the following throwbacks. Merong conflict between line and staff personnel. Hindi talaga yun ma maiwasan. Halimbawa na lang sa amin na sinasabi sa amin parati, for example, uh, of the records na uh, mga bobo daw yung police kasi uh, hindi, yung mga nauna hindi nakapag-aral ng maayos, hindi sila magaling sa uh, paperworks, tapos yung in UP sinasa sinasabi halimbawa, mga sinasabi lang ito ah, sinasabi na uh, mas uh, karapat dapat pa sila doon sa trabaho namin kaysa uh, sa kaysa kami tapos uh, malit daw ang trabaho ni, uh, sahod nila yan yung mga halimbawa lack of responsibility uh, responsibility ito yung mga uh, uh, ito yung uh, lack of responsibility uh, yung isang Halimbawa sa isang MPS, uh, supervise lang siya ng nagasupervise siya pero yung responsibility niya bilang uh, bilang isang chief of police is hindi niya ginagampanan. Halimbawa na lamang ang sinasabi lang supervision is uh, okay, gawan mo na yung report. Report tapos tingnan ko. O kaya pasa mo na yan. Tapos hindi niya tinitingnan yung content ng kanya ng or result ng kanya ginawa ng kanyang tauhan kaya mayroong lack of responsibility na po pwede magkamali yung tauhan niya na sa kanya rin uh, maibaba to. Okay, more dependence on staff. Ito yung ma mahirap kasi uh, nagtatrabaho nagatraba yung sa executive tapos nakadepende yung trabaho nakadepende yung trabaho nakadepende yung trabaho nila uh, doon sa staff personnel. Ito talaga kaya sinasabi sa amin ng NUP na uh, Reliable, reliance kami nag -rely, rely kami sa kanila halimbawa sa uh, of the record uh, for educational purposes lang ito sa MPS halos lahat ang gumagawa ng paperworks is ang mga NUPs which is napaka masama at saka hindi maganda kasi hindi nag-grow hindi natututo yung police okay lack of coordination ito yung halimbawa na lamang kapag sa PNP is uh, magkakandak ng isang operation kapag walang coordination doon sa barangay doon sa uh, community uh, halimbawa na lamang niyan o kaya uh, sa uh, sa magkakandak ng raid kailangan merong merong PDA, merong attorney yan yung mga instances ko kailangan dapat bago gawin ng isang trabaho is may coordination among and between uh, the uh, uh, interagency Uh, works o okay, kaya yung mga uh, 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 agencies na concern sa isang trabaho o kaya dun sa uh, opisina okay. ineffective staff the staff officers do not wield any power in the organization Inefe ineffective is ito yung uh, hindi si hindi maganda yung output hindi maganda yung ginagawa tapos parang uh, wala wala siyang wala siyang gana dun sa trabaho kaya hindi niya in, uh, inaayos mga ganyan ba expensive this type of organization is very expensive because the large number of specialists are appointed ito yung pinakamahirap dito sa disadvantage uh, uh, disadvantage ng line and staff organization na napakamahal kasi nga uh, kung mapapansin ninyo yung mga advisors uh, halimbawa sa PhilHealth kung makikita ninyo na Um, uh, sabi nga sa Tulfo na uh, uh, mag-attend lang ng meeting ang uh, ad legal advisors tapos may millionis na yan yan yung pinakamahirap sa uh, disadvantage okay uh, uh, thank you very much uh, I hope mayroon kayong natutunan kahit na katiting lang uh, uh, ako bilang isang student rin is uh, Open ako na matuto at saka open ako sa advices, sa suggestion, comments, reaction. Kasi nga hindi tayo matututo hanggang hindi, hindi natin nalalaman yung mga mistakes at saka yung uh, mga bagay na uh, hindi pa natin alam. Uh, I am sure uh, naiintindihan ninyo yung side ko at saka uh, pare-pareho lang tayo nag-aaral. Kaya uh, uh, kung ano man yung mali, mali ko is... Uh, alam ko naman na maintindihan ninyo. Uh, muli, uh, maraming salamat. Uh, ako po ulit si kandidato Serad Mangandog na po pwede nang tawaging Candy for short. Uh, maraming salamat. Uh, by the way, ma'am, thank you for the uh, 
the time na naging instructor ko kayo kay uh, kahit ganito lamang yung form ng ating uh, uh, class classes is uh, still uh, proud pa rin ako na part ako ng batch na to na mas, sa masters in public administration uh, thank you